When Manchester United chased the signing of former Manchester City Academy product Jadon Sancho down for a year from Borussia Dortmund and United eventually paid £73 million for the signing of the Englishman, Manchester United rightfully expected a generational talent out of Sancho and for him to carry their team to their first Premier League title since the 2012-13 season. But Jadon Sancho did anything but succeed at United. He never looked comfortable and he was never seen as a starter. He apparently had attitude issues and under Oli, Ragnik and recently Ten Hag, he never had consistent game time and he never played to the level you'd expect out of a £73 million sign-in. So in January of this year, with Sancho having played just 76 minutes in the first six months of the season, he was loaned back to his former club Borussia Dortmund until the end of the season. But the question is, has Jadon Sancho actually been any good at Dortmund over the past three or four months? Has he proven Manchester United wrong? And has he looked like the Jadon Sancho of old? Well, that's what we'll be talking about today. So what's going on everyone? You are listening to Back of the Net here. I hope you are all doing well. Please be sure to like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and let's get into it. When Jadon Sancho and Eric Ten Hag had that public falling out, it wouldn't take a genius to see that Sancho would be leaving Manchester United. Now, whosever side you're on, whether you're on Ten Hag's side or Sancho's side, I'm kind of on Ten Hag's side. I don't think a player shouldn't call out a player individually. But regardless of whose side you are on, you could tell that Sancho would be leaving United. And to be fair, he's been at United. I mean, between the poor and inconsistent play, calling out the manager, having attitude issues, and overall just not being a professional player, United and Sancho were happy to part ways. But for some reason, a large portion of Manchester United fans and football fans in general, for some reason thought it was just Ten Hag to blame for Sancho falling off and never really getting any meaning. If you look at Sancho's time at Manchester United, in three years, he played 4,990 minutes for United in all competitions. And no, that isn't as much as it sounds. He played 82 games for United out of a possible 140 games under all three managers at United. So even under Oli and Ragnik, Sancho still didn't get much consistent game time, which to me made it quite obvious that it wasn't just Ten Hag that had a problem with Sancho. Because if that was the case, then under Ragnik and under Oli, he would have played a lot more, he would have had more consistent minutes, and he wouldn't have missed so much games under Ragnik and Oli. So when he was loaned back to his previous club in Borussia Dortmund, everyone, including me, thought that Sancho would finally be able to prove to the world that he was still that Sancho that we know, and he would be able to prove United wrong and have success in a place where he is familiar and a place where he made a name for himself. But now, almost four months later, four months back in Dortmund, has he proven Manchester United wrong? And has he looked like the wonder kid that he did in Dortmund previously? The short answer is no. Now, in his first appearance in 140 days, within the first 22 minutes of his cameo off the bench for Dortmund, Jadon Sancho assisted Marco Royce to send Dortmund up 2-0. I mean, Sancho started with a bang and social media and pretty much all of the football in the world thought this would be the start of Sancho's redemption arc and he would again look like that Sancho that a lot of us fell in love with watching him play for Dortmund and that he would prove to be the same Sancho that left Dortmund. It was a high level dribbler with good pace and an amazing instinct in the final third. Whether that is him setting up his teammates or getting himself goals, Jadon Sancho before he left for Dortmund was a different kind of player. But now 10 games into his Dortmund loan spell, he hasn't really been anywhere near that level of production or quality. Now he hasn't been awful, I mean far from it to be fair, but it would be a complete lie if you were to say that he is anywhere near the level that he had previously shown at Dortmund. How I would describe the second stint at Dortmund, I would say he's been pretty okay. He's not been earth shattering, but he hasn't been absolutely horrible neither. Now, he has already missed two games out of 12, one due to a muscular problem, but in Dortmund's most recent game before the international break, where they beat Frankfurt 3-1, they put in a pretty decent performance. Jaden Sancho was an unused substitute, which hopefully isn't a sign of things to come. Now, in his first 10 games back for Dortmund, he does have two goals and two assists, which isn't bad. But again, he does go missing a lot during games like he did at United. He isn't great defensively, but I mean, he never has really been, to be fair. So that's not much of a surprise. But all in all, I think he's been pretty much bang average. He hasn't been that Sancho that we saw previously in Dortmund. And he's been more of the Sancho at United under Oli that we've seen. Just a pretty bang average player that has his good moments and good performances like against Werder Bremen and against PSV in the second leg of the round of 16 in the Champions League. Both of those games he scored in. But then he does also have those stinker games where he looks absolutely dreadful, looks completely lost, looks out of touch with the game like he did against Hoffenheim. I mean, 
He was so bad in that game against Hoffenheim that a German outlet called him the worst player on the pitch for that game. And that isn't really a far-fetched statement to be making. So where does Jadon Sancho go from here after the season? Well, provided that his level keeps the same for the rest of the season, I don't know. I highly doubt they have any interest in loaning him out again. So I expect him to leave on a permanent basis in the summer. But which club would want him? While well, Dortmund are apparently very keen on making the move permanent, but the most that they are willing to pay for Jadon Sancho is around 25 to 30 million pounds, which I actually think is a pretty fair price for both United and Dortmund. But another problem that Dortmund will have to face, according to the reports, is that Sancho's wage of 300,000 pounds a week is extremely steep and he would have to take a pay cut to move back to Dortmund on a permanent basis, which makes sense to me. I don't know, maybe a team in Saudi would be interested in bringing him in, maybe a mid-table Premier League team, maybe a team like Ajax could be interested. I just know for sure that he won't be playing at Manchester United next season as long as Eric Sancho playing at United again, regardless of who the manager is, is if Sancho came to Dortmund and absolutely smashed out the park, scoring like eight goals and six assists and playing for United next season, but it just hasn't been great. He's been pretty mediocre, nothing special, nothing spectacular. I don't think he'll be playing for United. So to answer the question of the video, if I haven't already, has Jadon Sancho been any good at Borussia Dortmund? I don't know. Kinda? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go with kinda. But yeah, guys, that's the video. Let me know in the comments below. What have you guys thought about Jadon Sancho's second stint at Dortmund? Has he been any good? If you were Dortmund, would you be interested in keeping him? If you were United, would you sell him? Would you keep him? Let me know in the comments below. Please be sure to smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one.